All right, you guys, man, we're here to check out Billy Joel with New York State of Mind from the Gray Old Whistle Test. So I'm guessing it's a live performance. I don't know what Gray Old Whistle Test is, but I'm pretty sure that's like a uh, place. So let's check this out. Hold on, give me a second. We gotta create a little um, atmosphere for the next songs. Make it like a, a sleazy jazz club. We just have a low budget thing, we don't have smoke machines and everything. <laughs> Brought along a little one. I mean, gives the place a little sleaze to it. I wonder where Billy Joe got his start from. He kind of resembles like, kind of resembles like Ray Charles right there, but. You tell he from the old school, he got that freaking cigarette holding like right on the corner of your lip, boy. Everybody know that uncle that got the cigarette that could just hang for dear life on the corner of the lip right there. I mean, no matter what he say, that thing is still hanging on the corner of his lip. You know what I'm saying? Now look, man, you, you need your your alternator. You need a new alternator. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna check out the vibe right here. Kinda like how he brings that dive bar kind of energy to the live stage. Okay. Okay, he said some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood. So pretty much holiday means vacation in the UK and Britain. That's their slang for, you know what I'm saying, going on vacation. Take a holiday from the neighborhood. Have a flight to Miami Beach. Oh, the Hollywood, Hollywood, this thing. Me, I'm taking a Greyhound. I like how it picks up with the drums, the melody, and the saxophone all at the same time. Because that just lets you know we transition into the hook or the next part of the song, too. Check that out. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Wait a minute. <clears throat> now I need me just a little, little give and take. Oh, oh, New York Times. I gotta see who his influences are. Daily news. Oh. It all comes down to reality. That's fine with me, cause I have let it slide. Don't care if it's Chinatown or on Riverside, no, no. I don't have any reason. I left them all behind. 
It's almost like he's saying, like, no matter where I go, I'm always in a New York state of mind. You know what I mean? So just like he prefaced at the beginning of the song, like, you know, sometimes I need to take a holiday from the neighborhood, go to Miami. So it's like it's definitely leading up to that. Plus, I like the blue ambience. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it kind of does give you that jazzy blues kind of feel. You know what I'm saying? It helps the, with the emotional concept because the blues ain't nothing but musical moodiness. That's all. You know, so it does help with the ambience. So I like that blue on stage. Hmm, just notice because the blue part of the stage is only on my left. Like what you see on screen, the blue, and but you don't see the blue side on Billy Joel's side. So that's kind of cool with the lighting. Okay, talk to us, bro. Talk to us with the saxophone, man. Let's go. Let's go, Billy. You serenaded us with the melody. That's cool. Okay. I like how uh, one thing I just noticed, like whenever he goes aggressive, that's when the music is most loudest. But then when he starts to say in the hook, per se, when he starts to end the hook, some of the sounds leave and it gives like there's no drums, there's no saxophone. It's just melody to hear. So that's kind of cool that they in sync like that or the arrangement is set up like that to very much emphasize his vocals in this live performance, too. See? I'm in a new York. Okay. Ah, yeah. Boy, take us on a journey now. I don't know what's your name, but take us on a journey. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Yeah. There's some synchronicity with uh, the saxophone and his voice, too. Amazing performance. Amazing performance. Just, just, I was wondering why this was eight minutes, but just an amazing, amazing performance. You should never give a studio performance on a live stage. You know what I mean? So this is the benefit of getting it live. You get something different. No live performance sounds the same. And I think that's what everybody goes for live for. You know what I mean? But this is a great song. It was actually something different from what I thought because Jay-Z made a um, New York State of Mind song. So I was thinking, did some of the melodies from that song come from Billy Joel or was it like a sample of the melodies from this song? to Jay-Z's track, but eh, I guess not. It don't sound similar at all. So post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh I'll catch you guys at the next one. Make sure you go down in the comment section below. Let me know what let me know what you want to hear next. You know what I mean? So I catch you guys later, man. Peace.